talking summer crops now with our cropping system specialist Josh Lofton. And Josh, you know, standing right here in sorghum, and sorghum is probably is coming along a lot faster than you originally expected. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of our, our more early planted summer crops, uh, particularly the corn, but maybe even some folks that got got their sorghum in uh, maybe uh, early, middle, even even stretching into the later part of May. And the biggest thing growers need to look at is maturity on their crop. Um, and the, the good thing for, for corn and sorghum, black layer is what you're looking for. Uh, we have a corn here, basically just uh, took a cob, uh, you know, kind of broke it in half, kind of looking at the kernels right in the middle, and, and that's kind of what, what we're looking for black layer, um, kind of right on the edge of that kernel. And, and the same thing really for sorghum, kind of uh, ahead as it develops, we like to kind of get right there in the center, just take a seed, Right where that seed attached to the panicle, we should have a little black dot. Uh, that means it's mature. Once we've hit that black layer, we, we uh, actually can actively go out there, uh, put out a desiccant such as our sodium chlorates, our, our glyphosates uh, to, to potentially either even out the field or dry it down uh, uh, to get it ready for harvest. What are you seeing right now actually in the fields with armyworms and are there any other pests that are you know, causing issues as producers are about to harvest? Yeah, as, as we've kind of come on, we've we've heard some accounts here and there on sugarcane aphids with grain sorghum. That that is a, a constant pest, and it can be just as bad of a pest at harvest as it can be in season. But we do have really big pockets of pests that are being very detrimental. And in this field, it's kind of why we're here today. Um, we had a big infestation of chinch bugs. Um, and you can actually kind of see them going into this plant. Um, this is a really heavy pressure. We don't often think about chinch bugs being significantly yield limiting, but when they get this high a pressure at this stage in the sorghum, we can cause a, a major issue. And you can actually see this yellowing, um, th that's their impact onto this plant. And some of the varieties that, that were taking a little bit more of an impact are, are actually having lodging issues. So some of these rainstorms we've had when the wind comes through, they're already laying on the ground they're not gonna make anything. This right here, will it finish, will it not? It, it'll probably have a trouble finishing filling out this seed head and this grain, but we have another, another variety here. This is actually a variety trial that still has chinch bug pressure in, but, but is doing a lot better. We see that it's a lot greener comparatively. It's, it's not got that yellow kind of look to it. It's not really uh, stressing as bad as this other plant is. So we have some variety difference on how they've responded to chinch bugs. Not only from uh, certain varieties are getting uh, infested and some of them aren't, but some of them are taking that infestation a lot better. Very similar to what we see in things like sugarcane aphid and, and, and other, uh, some of those other uh, pests that we have. Yeah, and you know, you know, next week you actually have a, uh, a field day coming up in Texas County. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so we're, we're having our, our field day at McCall, uh, the McCall field day. Um, you know, looking at a lot of our summer crops out in the panhandle. Uh, you know, interested in things, you know, irrigated corn and grain sorghum out in the panhandle, variable rate irrigation, variable rate nitrogen. We have a great looking variety test out there. It's going to be um, next Thursday. Uh, and so call the Texas County Extension Office or, or the research station out there, get an RSVP to them. Um, and uh, it, it'll be great having people out in the field coming to look at the crops. Alrighty, thanks Josh. Thank you. Josh Lofton, cropping system specialist here at Oklahoma State University. And if you'd like a link to the field day he was talking about, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.